Microsoft Planner versus Microsoft To Do, which one is better for you? Microsoft offers a range of productivity tools designed to help users manage tasks and projects efficiently. Two popular tools are Planner, which is this, which is Microsoft Planner, where you can build different types of projects in and, you know, create your own plans. Then if we compare this to Microsoft To Do, this is what To Do looks like. And both of these are part of the Microsoft 365 suite, and they cater to different needs and user scenarios. So we're going to be exploring their features, use cases, and which one might be suited for your specific requirements. So this is what to-do looks like, and it more so is task-focused, but you can build different lists, and you can also go into Outlook and directly create to-do items from your Outlook. So it really is a integrated tool into the 365 suite. So which one should you be using? Well, starting off with Microsoft Planner, what is it used for? What are its features? Well, the Microsoft Planner is a primary tool designed for project management and team collaboration. The user interface is a Kanban style board with cards that represent tasks. Its key features include task assignment to team members, integration with pre-existing teams and new teams for real-time collaboration, visual tracking of task progress through boards, and it's suitable for managing workflows over several weeks or months. If I show you guys this project management board, you guys can see these are tasks that are added as cards. We can set the urgency as well as subtasks as well as set up progress meters. So if we see the this icon, we can see the progress and mark things as completed as they have, you know, been completed or are in under progress. And you can go into the scheduling option and see an entire monthly calendar or even weekly calendar and see any of your unscheduled tasks on the right. You can drag those and schedule them within the calendar. And if you want to share this with any pre-existing team or share this with a new team, all you have to do is click on share and you can add an existing group. Your entire group would be added. So I can add this group in my Microsoft Teams, a group that is present in Microsoft Teams, and I can add that here. Or I can create a new team and add members one by one in comparison to Microsoft To Do. So this is what Microsoft To Do looks like. And the primary function of To Do is personal task management, which is ideal for daily tasks. It has a simple interface with a simple list based interface optimized for quick task entry and prioritization. Its key features include integration with Outlook and allows auto generating lists from flagged emails and tasks can be shared among individuals or small groups, but they can't necessarily be shared with your entire team. So if I go into tasks over here, you can see a grid view or a list view, and I can directly just type in my task. Let's say it's going to be to review the simple project like this, and I can add a due date for this. I can add a reminder. I can add this to my day, remind me tomorrow, add a due date for next week. And this is not repetitive. I can choose a category, add a file, add a note. And below that, I can also add it to a specific list or a specific a list type then if i want i can directly go ahead and go into the bottom where i have microsoft outlook and people and i can add certain contacts and if i go into outlook over here this you know obviously is integrated into outlook so whatever you have in your inbox over here let's say you have this over here you can go on ahead and use the list feature and have um you know action items or task items be made now if I go into to do, I can directly access it in Outlook. Now, whereas if I go into the Microsoft Planner, if you go into Teams, you can actually use Planner because the Planner is meant for Teams and to do is meant for you individually. This is Microsoft Teams and I can click on Planner on the left. Once I click on Planner, I can use the planner as I regularly would, and I can do it right from Teams. So you guys can see the basic differences between these two tools. 
Now going back into their basic interfaces, so we're going to go back into our to-do and we're going to be discussing some of the primary use cases. So because their features are different, their use cases are different. Starting off with Microsoft Planner. Microsoft Planner is ideal for managing projects that require coordination among multiple team members over several weeks or month, and it's a visual task manager. It's useful when you need a visual overview of your project using Kanban boards and you have task dependencies because you can organize your tasks that have dependencies within a project timeline to ensure a smooth workflow and to ensure that tasks can be completed in a timely fashion. Whereas if we take a look at Microsoft To Do, Microsoft To Do is best suited for individual users who want to manage their daily personal or professional tasks efficiently. It focuses more on an individual's day and plans and tasks and things that are just assigned to you instead of focusing on project or team goals. It's great if you frequently use Outlook and want automated task generation from emails, and it has simple task prioritization tools for when you need a straightforward way to prioritize short-term tasks without any complicated project structures. So which one is better for you? Should you be using the planner or to-do? This largely depends on your specific needs. If you're working on collaborative projects that span over months and you want visual tracking or you have multiple people involved, then Planner is likely going to be the better choice for you. Whereas if you are someone that is looking to manage their daily tasks without complex project structures being integrated and you want a simple tool that is effective, you can use to do. But both tools can complement each other within the same workflow. Tasks assigned in Planner can sync into your personal to-do list, making them versatile options depending on how integrated they are into your existing work processes. So if I go into my project management and I go into my task section in my planner, so I'm going to mark everything as completed. But if I add a new task over here and I'm not going to add any, you know, you can choose whichever plan you want, but I'm just going to add a task, which is going to be to review, review the new tech on keyboards. Okay. Once I add this, if I go into my task, once I add this, and this is my tasks, and I go into my task section, it will be synced on over here as well. And that just allows you to have a more efficient tool, which is on one hand, you're not only taking into account your team task, but your individual day. So personal task management is the primary feature of to-do and team project management is the primary feature of planner. And you have Kanban boards on the planner section. So if you go into any, any particular plan, you have a Kanban visual board and you have a list view on the to-do interface of 365. And Collaboration works best on Planner, whereas daily tasks work best on the to-do. Ultimately, whether Planner or to-do is better for you depends entirely on whether you prioritize collaborative work or individualized daily tasks. And if you're exploring these two tools, you can also use them together. And you have several other productivity tools available on Microsoft to help you in boosting your workflows. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, you guys can leave them in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.